Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to break down one of the most important decisions in modern API development, REST versus GraphQL. Both are used to connect front-end applications to back-end data, but they approach the task very differently and each has its strengths and trade-offs. In this video, we will walk through the key differences between REST and GraphQL, covering everything from how they work to performance, flexibility, tooling and real-world use. Let's get started. And as we go, follow along with the comparison diagram on screen. Let's begin with what each one actually is. REST is an architectural style for building APIs. It uses HTTP methods like GET, POST, PUT and DELETE to access and modify resources that are exposed via URL endpoints. GraphQL on the other hand is a query language for APIs. It was developed by Facebook and allows clients to request exactly the data they need nothing more, nothing less, all through a single endpoint. So REST organizes data around resources and routes, while GraphQL is all about flexible querying through a unified schema. Now let's compare how each handles endpoints. In REST, each resource has its own endpoint. For example, you might call slash users to get users and slash post to get posts. If you need to fetch both users and their posts, you often need to call multiple endpoints and then combine the data manually. In contrast, GraphQL uses a single endpoint, usually something like slash GraphQL. From that one endpoint, you can fetch exactly the data you need even if it spans multiple related entities. So GraphQL helps reduce the number of requests by giving you everything in one shot. Let's talk about how they fetch data. In REST, when you request data from an endpoint, you often get a fixed response, sometimes more than you need, sometimes less. This can lead to overfetching or underfetching. For example, you might only need a user's name and email, but the slash users endpoint gives you the full profile, including their address, role and creation date. In GraphQL, you define the shape of the response in the query itself. You can request only the fields you need, like just the name and email. This leads to more efficient use of bandwidth and smaller payloads. GraphQL gives clients full control over the response structure, which is a major advantage. Let's look at how each approach handles changes over time. With REST, when the structure of a resource changes, developers often create new endpoints or add version numbers to the URL, like slash API slash b1 slash users and slash API slash b2 slash users. This approach works but can become difficult to maintain as the versions pile up. GraphQL takes a different approach. Instead of versioning the entire API, it evolves the schema gradually. New fields are added while old ones are deprecated and clients can keep using only what they need. This allows for more graceful API evolution without breaking existing clients. Now let's talk about tooling and learning curve. REST is simpler to understand and widely adopted. Most developers already know how to make RESTful requests using tools like Postman or Curl. GraphQL offers powerful developer tools like GraphQL and Playground, which support live queries schema inspection and autocomplete. But the learning curve is higher, especially when it comes to setting up schemas, resolvers and query validation. In short, REST is easier to get started with, but GraphQL offers more power and precision once you are comfortable with it. What about performance? REST can be fast, but if clients need data from multiple resources, they often need to make multiple round trips to the server. GraphQL solves this by letting clients fetch everything they need in a single request. This reduces network overhead, which is especially useful in mobile environments where bandwidth matters. However, GraphQL queries can become complex and expensive on the server if not optimized correctly. So while GraphQL can reduce request count, it requires good backend planning to stay performant. Let's look at some practical use cases. REST is a great choice for simple resource-oriented APIs like blog platforms, e-commerce product catalogs or microservices where endpoints are clearly defined. GraphQL shines in complex applications with dynamic data needs like dashboards, social networks or mobile apps where clients may need different data at different times. In fact, GraphQL is often chosen when front-end teams need more flexibility without having to wait for back-end changes. These are the key differences between REST and GraphQL. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video.